Hey everyone, it's Sunny. This is going to be a super quick get ready with me video. Uh, I am going to be using um, all Charlotte Tilbury, um, so I guess that's the twist to this. But apart from that, uh, you know, I'll just do some chit chat. It's not a tutorial, so I'm not gonna walk through everything. I'll show you the products that I'm using, but I'm not gonna walk through every technique. I'm just gonna talk about other stuff. I don't know, life update, I guess. Um, anyhow, I am gonna start with her Brightening Youth Glow. Love this stuff. I tend to put a primer on before I do my eye makeup. So I put my primer on, then I do my eye makeup. And this stuff, initially when it goes on, it smells really weird. There's like a very odd smell, but it disappears within like two seconds. But I like to let it sink while I do my eyes. Um, Charlotte Tilbury does not have a um, eyeshadow primer, so I am going to use a Lumine uh, eyeshadow primer. It's a finished product uh, because it's really hot outside right now, and if I don't use an eyeshadow primer, my eyes, eyelids will get oily. So a little of this stuff goes a long way as well. I do love using finished products whenever. Whenever I do. Makes me feel homely. So, I've got like a little basket of my Charlotte Tilbury goodies here. I'm going to use her Desert Haze palette. It's an all matte palette. And the colors are perfect for me. Um, so, what was I going to talk to you about? Little life update. Working as a makeup artist in times of COVID. <laughs> or more like not working, obviously. I, I can't do my full job right now. I've done some lessons online, which is always fun, um, but the actual doing makeup and hair, I can't do yet. Hopefully very soon, because I do really miss it. I really do, and I didn't realize how much I would miss it. So let's do a little bit of crease. This color right here, such a good crease color for me. It is, it just makes blue eyes bluer. And I, with this one, I go all the way to the inner corner. I thought this wasn't gonna be a tutorial. Sani? Maybe tutorial-ish. Uh, yeah, um, so these have been really weird times for me. I don't think I have been in one country since I started doing hair and makeup, so nine years ago. Uh, I don't think I have been in one country for this amount of time ever. Like, I travel all the time, so it's been nice, but it's also been really, really weird, I think. Hmm. We're not going to go for a full-on makeup today. Today is Friday. This is actually the morning of the day this is going to go live. And I am going to go to the shops. I'm, we're probably going to have Zoom drinks because that's become a Friday night ritual. Can I do that? Should turn my mail off. One second. There, mail is off. A little tiny bit of crease, but nothing major. I gotta say that when it's hot, I do love a matte eyeshadow. I really, really do. And I forgot to close the door here. So, maybe I need to close the door because it's gonna get noisy. Okay, door is closed. We don't have to worry about noises from elsewhere in the house anymore. Yeah, so not gonna be super dramatic, more like an everyday kind of eye. I am in love with Charlotte Tilbury's Barbarella Brown um, eyeliner. However, so I don't just like do the line, I always smudge it with an angle brush because I just happen to like a kind of a soft smudged line right now so let's do that and I always feel like it 
for some reason I feel like I'm working it into the skin better so I always feel like it lasts better but I can also get it into the roots better hmm. and I'm just gonna pull it one under a little bit as well just in the corner we're gonna go over that eyeshadow anyways so I really want to know how everyone's quarantine has been tell me something below or on Instagram it's it's been a challenging time for sure um, I have discovered walking so I'm one of those people that before this would only walk from A to B I didn't see the point of going for a walk now on the other hand I love going for walks and I have to get my 10,000 steps in every day, like obsessively, slightly weirdly obsessively, I guess. Um, but it's totally become a thing for me. And I love walking. We're lucky because we're really close to greenery. So for, and I only used to like urban walking, you know, seeing signs, seeing people, like stuff like that. Now I like that as well. I don't know what's happened to me. It's a little bit of the darkest color. Um, but that is one of the COVID things that has happened. Who knows? Um, but I am ready for sure for life to get back to a new normal or normalish or whatever everybody's calling it. I really am. Uh, oh, if, and if anyone knows how I can do this. So because I didn't do YouTube videos for a long time, I understand that YouTube has dropped me to the bottom of the list, but I know that my video is not getting recommended to anyone. Like if I, like I put up a video about makeup for face mask last week. And when I search for it on YouTube, other people's videos come up, uh, super popular videos, but then videos that have very little views and mine does not pop up and I tried to put hashtags I tried to do if anybody knows how Google algorithm works so that um, when I make videos that so that they actually come up in the search results because previously I never had to worry about it because they would just always come up and I think it was because I was making videos regularly for years and years now because I took such a long gap um, not Google did I say Google all the time I meant YouTube um, YouTube has forgotten about me, so it doesn't come up. So I need to find a way to do that because it's gonna get really demotivating if no one ever sees these. Um, anyhow, so I do not have a Charlotte Tilbury um, lash curler. So I am using my Hourglass one. And next I am going to be using the only product that I am not using Charlotte Tilbury, even though I have it. Mostly because it smudges on me like crazy and I don't want my uh, mascara smudged. So I am going to be using my favorite um, Hourglass Caution Mascara and I want to love, um, I used to have the other one, right now I've got full fat lashes and she's got another one and I forget the name. That was a little bit better on me, the full fat lashes smudges like crazy, especially under my eyes and right here um, and it's a hot day so I am not going to take that risk right now um, it's really unfortunate and I don't know I read reviews on it and some people said it smudges and I still wanted to get it because I just wanted to try it out it really does not work on me I don't know if I should turn this off when I do my lower lashes because it's like this always it's like like crazy face Maybe you don't want to see this part. Hold on. Okay, that was better. Uh, I'm moving to foundation, and this is Airbrush Falls foundation, and I am shade six. I'm going to use a beauty blender, mostly because I just wet it in cold water, and it's really hot. I don't know if you guys in America know, but very few Europeans have air conditioning, so it's like super boiling inside um, it's funny because it's always such a shock when I work with um, 
American brides that are getting married in Europe and they've rented a beautiful chateau or whatever. It's always really um, interesting because they have no idea that these places are not going to have AC. Big hotels have AC for sure, but like chateaus, manor houses, places like that, they don't have AC. Um, and usually the brides end up sweltering. So it asks a lot from a makeup artist. <laughs> So I've gotten really good at keeping makeup on in hot weather. That's for sure. I'm keeping makeup on on a bride for like, it's always like 16 hours. This shade is perfect for me. I'm going to, um, actually, let me do my under eye concealer first um, before we do the filter. The retoucher, what shade am I? Retoucher in shade two. I love this and I hate that because every once in a while you get loads and every once in a while you don't get enough. So it's really kind of unpredictable and I really hate that. I don't like unpredictability. I'm a girl that likes certainties. I do have a spot there, but that foundation pretty much covered it. I don't need a separate concealer for that, I think. Uh, a little bit of uh, Hollywood filter in four medium. Uh, I don't know, keep it about down the nose, chin. This double um, ended brush is genius for so I don't really use this for foundation much I do some I do when I travel for sure um, but it's really good for concealer highlighter that kind of a combo that's what I tend to use it for maybe I should try and use it more for foundation it's pretty nice for foundation actually Hmm. Cool, I am going to brush the foundation off my brows. Uh, her Magic Powder. I, um, I used to use the, well, I don't remember what the pressed powder, her pressed powders are called. Um, and I like them all right, but I actually really, really, really prefer this. And even on hot weather, in hot weather, I don't like too much. So I just kind of pat, pat, pat it out. So time for bronzer. Uh, I love her airbrush bronzer. I am shade two. And I... Always with a bronzer. I do the same E and three, and then I do a W. I kind of, this bronzer is so matte and a really good color. So when I use this one, I wouldn't really do contour, I would say, because first of all, I can't be bothered with that many steps. And this kind of, really acts like that anyways. Oh, I just got an email from um, Charlotte Tilbury, not her personally, <laughs> um, that she has a new setting spray coming out. I'm really curious to try that. Now, often in the summer, I don't wear blush. If I do wear blush, it's always her pillow talk. I don't need any other. I've got, I can't even remember the name of the other one. I never use it. Um, but this one is always oh, perfect for me. I was gonna say we don't need Film Star Bronze and Glow, but maybe I do need a little bit of highlighter from it. As you can see, I've used the contour way more than the highlighter. I <laughs> uh, can't. I'm just gonna use the same brush as my blush. Just a touch.
I'm just basically going over the same bits that I already did with um, the flawless filter. Brush her eyebrows. I am not going to do anything apart from use her um, legendary brows. Um, oh, it's worn off. Sorry. This is like a medium brown. I think I could just see it when it was new, but I have no idea what shade this is. It's a medium brown anyways. And I just use it to brush the brows up. Now, oh my God, I am in love with this lipstick. It's called Wedding Bells. This is new and I really, oh, oh look at that. Look at the lips, they are so cute. So I tend to do, um, Lipstick first and then liner. This is such a good color. Let me see, I'm just gonna do iconic nude. I go through so many iconic nudes. And I think actually the pillow talk liner would be probably better for this, but the pillow talk liner, the color just doesn't look right on me. There we go, super simple, easy, um, yeah, <laughs> no fuss uh, kind of daytime makeup, but this will, um, the Airbrush Flawless Foundation combined with the primer and the powder does keep it on all day. Like this will stay, the only thing I'm gonna touch up is lipstick and that lipstick actually stays on pretty well without being full on matte. Anyways, um, so uh, <laughs> mind went blank, let's get, compose ourselves again. <laughs> I hope to see you next week and have a great weekend. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye.